Suga Kobo is a lesser known name when it comes to anime studios, but they are actually responsible for bringing us some of the best slice of life anime and rom coms in recent times, including Umaru chan, Gabriel Dropout, New Game, Enko san, Nozaki kun, and that anime about working out. More recent additions include My Senpai is Annoying, Shikimori san, and their latest big hit, Oshinoko. But even if you knew about Dogakobo, you might be surprised to learn that they were originally established in 1973, 34 years before they ever released their first anime. Established by former Toei Animation employees Hideo Furusawa and Megumu Ishiguro, they operated as a subcontractor for many major studios, working on shows such as Dragon Ball Z and Mazinga Z from Toei Animation, Gintama from Sunrise, Nausicaa and Ponyo from Ghibli, and Gurren Lagann and Kill la Kill from Trigger. This all changed in 2006, when Ryo Ishiguro assumed the presidency of the studio. Among the changes he made was the decision to start producing their own animation. One year later in 2007, they released their first show, Myself Yourself, which still holds a pretty respectable 7.1 to 1 MAL today. I tried watching it and it's, uh, it's very 2000s, it's, it's not, not my thing, I, nah, I can't. They produced a few more shows, but only really hit upon their formula with Yuru Yuri, marrying cute anime girls with sharp animation and top tier comedy. This CG DCT formula, hilarious reaction expressions and a sense of comedic timing are hallmarks of Doga Kobo, and they started adapting more well-known manga such as Love Lab, Monthly Girls Nozaki-kun, and Umaru-chan. Generally speaking, the adaptations are actually top tier, barring some questionable source material. So it might come as a surprise that they're the studio adapting Oshinoko, a fairly dark drama about showbiz. But if you look closely, the hallmarks of Doga Kobo are still there. The top tier reactions, comedic timing, and high quality animation. There's a reason why Doga Kobo has lasted for 50 years. Their consistency and reliability as contractors and their relatively newfound cute girls doing cute things style means that even if you haven't heard of them before, you've definitely seen a show that they've worked on. And while they're busy producing 3 or 4 cute shows a year, they still do a lot of subcontracted work for other studios. They've worked on Attack on Titan, Code Geass, Fairy Tail, Fate Zero, and Fate Unlimited Blade Works, Mob Psycho 100, My Hero Academia, Sword Art Online, and Your Line April. So that's the go with Doga Kobo. What's your favorite Doga Kobo show, and what mangas would you like to see them adapt? Let me know down in the comments. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!